Welcome to episode four of Pulse TV. In this week's episode, we have Mrs. Dauber, the head of achievement of year 10. She's going to be explaining how year 10 students can apply to become student ambassadors, which is a really important role within our college. We've got Mr. Gordon reminding you again about the Cowley challenge number two, the 5K challenge, and how you can get your times in and send them into to college. And we also have the Cowley challenge number three, Mrs. Pennington, We'll be on shortly introducing the third challenge, which is all about reading. So enjoy the episode and then have a safe half term. Next week is half term. Relax, uh, be careful, be safe, um, recharge the batteries, ready for uh, work again on the 1st of June. Enjoy the episode. Hi Year 10, I hope you and your families are all safe and well at home. I just want to take a little minute of your time this week to talk to you about Cowley and Ambassadors. As you know, every year we appoint a wide variety of students into the role of Cowley and Ambassadors and this year is no exception. So what I want you to do this week, Year 10, is consider whether or not you have the skills, qualities and experience to be a good Cowley and Ambassador for Year 11. I've placed a bit of information on the website for you. It tells you some of the key roles of a Cowley ambassador, some of the key duties. It also gives you some information about the benefits of becoming an ambassador. And what I want you to do this week is have a little look at that information. I want you to think about some of the skills and experience you have that you could bring to the role of Cowley and ambassador. And I want you to apply online. So year 10, get focused this week. Have a little look at that information, spend a bit of time filling out your application form and send those in to us. And we look forward to reading every single one of them. Okay, stay safe for your turn and we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Morning everyone, just a quick reminder about Friday's event, uh, our 5k challenge. Get yourself out, uh, walk, run, jog, scoot, bike, do your 5k, send us a picture, send us a screenshot, send us your time. We'll put you in the draw for a chance to win. A wonderful £50 voucher. Okay, stay safe, take care. Hi everybody, I hope you're safe and well. I just want to speak to you very briefly about reading and the importance of reading, especially during a time like this when you're not in school. Um, obviously we know that reading has many, many academic benefits, but it also has a lot of advantages in terms of mental well-being as well, which is so important, especially at the moment. Um, so with that in mind, we are launching, or we have launched on Monday, a hashtag Keep Cowley Reading Challenge. Now the challenge is open to year seven and eight pupils. And the challenge is for the next six weeks until the end of June, the 30th of June. And the challenge is to meet um, your reading target. Now, Mrs. Burroughs and I have sort of wiped all of the, um, the point system and we've reset it. And we've reset it based on your reading ability and an average um, reading time of 15 to 20 minutes a day. And the fact that this is only a six week period. So when you log on to your Accelerated Reader account and look at your new reading target, I'm sure you'll find that it is really achievable for you. OK, so that's the challenge. You've got six weeks to meet your reading target. If you are struggling to actually get hold of a book, we've put a, um, some links out on the school website and on the school social media, quite a few links um, to books that are downloadable online and will help you. Just, just do check before you um, read any that they are quizzable. If you're reading it to quiz, make sure that they are quizzable because some of them are, many of them are, but do just double check that, okay? Um, and if you've got any questions at all, you've forgotten your, you know, sign-in details, you can't access Accelerated Reader, anything like that for any reason, please do keep checking the school website and the school social media. And also, um, you know, you can email me, get in touch with um, me, Mrs Pennington or Mrs Burroughs, and we'll do whatever we can to support you, okay, because we want you to enjoy reading the books and making the most of this this time that you've got. Um, and that's it really, that's it from me, apart from to say that we've put a little montage together of some of the staff so that you can see what they're reading, where they're reading, um, includes some of their children as well. We just thought you might find it um, inspiring really, so thank you and stay safe. <laughs> Oh,
birthday boy and it's about a kid called Sam and his sister Ruby. Sam wishes on a shooting star that his birthday could go on forever and then he has party after party after party every single day until it goes out of control and Sam decides to try and change it. He finds where the star's landed and tries to reverse his wish. I like reading Mr. Meadow's Mischief. It's about a pixie who is always setting mischief. He tries to help, but it always goes wrong. It is really funny. Hi! Really, really quick, I'm going to tell you about the book that I have been reading. Thank you, Mr. Collins, because Mr. Collins is the one who lent me this. It is three books. Oh, sorry. Come on. You, you've ruined that, Oscar. It is three books in one. I've read the first book, Northern Lights. I'm not going to give too much away because they're in the school library, so you could read them. And on the very end of the second book, which is Subtle Knife, it's about a girl called Lyra. She goes on all sorts of different adventures. It's a little bit supernatural. It's got witches in it. It is, there's lots and lots of mystery and adventure. The biggest mystery in it is dust. I'm at the end of the second book. I have no idea what dust is yet. I hope I find out by the end of the third book. Um, but it is just, basically, it's better than Harry Potter. That's what I would say. It's better than Harry Potter. Absolutely brilliant. I cannot put it down. I can't wait to get to the end of it. I absolutely love it. I'm really, really enjoying reading it. I would definitely recommend going and getting it from the school library. It's brilliant. Me and Mr. Collins text about it every single day. So every day I text Mr. Collins and tell him when something new has happened or when I've found something out. It is fantastic. So short and sweet because I don't want to give too much away. That is what I have been reading. I hope that you are all safe and well. I am looking forward to seeing everybody. I can't wait. And happy reading. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all safe and well, as are your families. The book I am reading at the moment is The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, uh, which is a sequel series to the one that Miss Mercer is reading at the moment. Uh, it's a great read, especially if you like some fantasy. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to you all. Stay safe. Bye. Hi. Hope you're all safe and well and following all the lockdown rules. Looking forward to seeing everybody as soon as it's uh, it's the right time. Don't forget one of the best ways to keep yourself occupied during this time is to lose yourself in a book. I'm currently working through the classics. And my next one for starting is Pride and Prejudice with Jane Austen. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. Hope to see you all soon. Bye. Hello Cowleyans, it's a pleasure to speak to you and I'm just here to promote reading as part of our Keep Cowley Reading campaign. So what I've done is I've got an author that I think is suitable for anyone in our community, teenagers, teachers, parents, whoever, um, I think this is someone that would, it's good to have him in your life. So the, the author I'd like to recommend is this guy, it's Matt Haig. Uh, Matt Haig is a fantastic novelist but he's also become a kind of uh, mental health spokesperson and he's written a couple of books uh, notes on a nervous planet, reasons to stay alive and he's on Twitter so he's someone you can follow if you're into that um, and he's just got, you know he's someone who I think is there for positive mental health and encouraging well-being so he's definitely someone you want to be reading but I've actually chosen a novel by him so this is called How to Stop Time so what I thought I'd do I'd read you the blurb and then hopefully that's something that will appeal but anyone year seven upwards I think will enjoy this author so let's see what How to Stop Time uh, is saying. Tom Hazard has a dangerous secret. He may look like an ordinary 41-year-old history teacher, but he's been alive for centuries. For, from Elizabethan England to Jazz Age Paris, from New York to the South Seas, Tom has seen it all. As long as he keeps changing his identity, he can stay one step ahead of his past and stay alive. The only thing he must not do is fall in love. So I hope that sounds appealing. Please keep reading. Obviously, whatever you like reading is fantastic, um, but make it happen. Keep going uh, and, and enjoy the time. Make the most of the time at home. Thanks. Okay. The 
book I'm reading at the moment is called The Hunting Party. It's about a group of friends who go on holiday to celebrate the new year and it's all about the dynamics within the friendship groups and how things aren't always how they seem and this series of books was my favourite when I was growing up and the best thing about it is I get to now relive all the wonderful memories I have of this book whilst I'm reading it to my daughter and this is a timeless book and even as an adult I can still enjoy it. Thank you! Oh, and P.S. There will be a small prize, a small reward for anybody who rises to the challenge and meets their reading target by the 30th of June, okay? So good luck and hashtag keep Cali reading. <laughs>